welcome to another video lecturer in this video i am going to discuss about the numericals on gear train let see what are the formulas are required for the solving the numericals on gear train velocity ratio for simple train velocity ratio for compound strain well circular pitch diameter pitch and module let's consider the problem number 1 a simple gear train of wheel consists of successively engaging three wheels having numbers of t 40 comma 50 and 70 respectively find the velocity ratio if the driving wheel having 40 teeth is rotating at 210 rpm find the speed of the driven shaft and what is the train value let's try to understand the problem the given problem is of simple gear train let's write down the data which has been given here so there are three gears are there so where 40 50 70 are the teeth which are there on the gears let's ta is equal to that is the first ta gear which is having 40 teeth on it teeth on b is 50 T on C is given seventy, and the speed of the driving shaft is given that is N A, which is equal to two hundred and ten RPM. So we need to calculate the speed of driven that is speed of C gear C gear. and we need to calculate the train value so we know for a simple gear train the formula is na by c is equal to tc by tb into tv by ta so let's substitute the values in this one that is na by nc is equal to tc by tb multiplied by t on b divided by t on a so which is equal to t on c is 70 it is divided by on b that is 50 again on t on b divided by a so both will get cancel so what you are going to get is 70 by 40 so that is nothing but 7 by 4 we know the value of na that is 210 divided by nc which is equal to 7 by 4 so nc will be 210 multiplied by 4 by 7 that is 7 1 is 7 3 30 30 that is value is 120 rpm so we know the velocity ratio here is nothing but na by nc we are going to get it that is 210 divided by 120.00 get cancels. It comes out to be 1.75. So it means your gear ratio is 175 is to one. We know the train value 
is nothing but 1 over the speed ratio or the velocity ratio that is nothing but now it is 1 by 1.75 which comes out to be 0 0.57 so this is the answer let's consider one more numerical two spur gears p and q connect two parallel shafts that are 450 mm apart gear p runs at the double the speed of gear q gear q runs at 150 rpm in the counterclockwise direction if the circular pitch is given to be 20 mm calculate the number of teeth on gears p and q again always our numerical will start with the collection of the data so let's try to collect the data what data is given here there are two spur gears are there p and q are there so which are parallel and those are apart by 450 mm it means if this is the p gear is there this is the q gear is there the distance is 450 mm p runs at a double the speed of gear q that is np is equal to pi is the nq it has been given here gear q runs at an rpm of 150 it means what and Q is 150 rpm is given okay in the counterclockwise if the circular pitch is given that is what we call it as a PC is is equal to 20 mm is given so we want to calculate the teeth on P and teeth on Q So we know the what we call it as a velocity ratio formula that is NP by NQ which will be equal to diameter of DQ by DP which is also equal to TQ by DP. So we know that NP is twice the NQ, it means it is nothing but 300, which is divided by 150, which is equal to DQ by DP, 150 it is 2, it means DQ is twice the DP. Let's say call it as a number one. So one more data we have that is the distance between them that is dp and dq. Half of this is, is equal to 450. So this is equation number two. So now we can dp plus dq is equal to 900 and let's substitute the value of dq that is twice dp which is, is equal to 900 so which is, is equal to 3 dp is equal to 900 so dp will be 300 okay once if you know we know that when dp is twice the sorry dq is twice that dp so dq is nothing but 600 mm okay so now to calculate the teeth so we have to make use of the circular pitch formula that is pc is equal to pi d by t so in this case if you consider the what you call the driving shaft 
or the driving gear that is pi into that is the dp is 5 300 it is to be divided by number of teeth on gear p which is, is equal to 20 the value of pc is given to us so hence we can calculate the tp is equal to pi into 300 so divided by 20 0 0 gets cancelled 2 into 15 15 pi is the tp which comes out to be 47.1 so we can consider 48 teeth on that okay so we know tq is twice the tp okay so tq is 2 into 48 which is equal to 96 so in this way we can calculate the teeth on the gear p as well as on q let's consider another problem a compound gear train consists of four gears a b c and d having 20 30 40 and 60 teeth respectively a is key to the driving shaft d is key to the driven shaft b and c are compounded gears b meshes with a and c meshes with d if a rotates as 180 rpm find the rpm of the d so let's collect the data about the what you call the problem so here is the compound gear is there so it means if you treat it as a gear a so this gear a is meshed with B gear and there is a compound gear is there this is B this is C and it is D okay so let's the teeth on A is given here is TA is equal to 20 teeth it is given on B it is given 30 on C it is given 40 on D it is given 60 and even the speed is also given that is 180 rpm now we need to calculate the speed of the driven shaft so we know the compound uh, ratios that is n a by n d that is the velocity ratio which is nothing but teeth on d divided by teeth on c multiplied by teeth on b divided by teeth on a remember a and b will make a pair and c and d will make a So hence this nd is equal to tc by td into ta by tb it is multiplied by n into a so which is, is equal to 40 by 60 multiplied by 20 by 30 multiplied by 180 so it comes out to be 80 rpm so these are the simple problems on gear train thank you for watching this video